Hello and welcome back to Casey Reviews. Uh, today we're checking out this Ankylosaurus. Uh, it's part of the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Roar of War lineup, as you see right there. Um, as you can see by this little picture here, it does have the button here on the back to swing its tail. Uh, it says it also makes noise. So. We'll see about that. The picture here shows the tail swinging back and forth. And right here we see a picture of Owen and Blue. Something that we've become very accustomed to seeing on this channel. On the back it's just a digitally created uh, picture of the Ankylosaurus. As well as a picture of the other Roarvors in the lineup. Or at least some of them. Uh, you got the Pteranodon and Triceratops as well as the Ceratosaurus. Uh, now we have reviewed the Pteranodon and Triceratops and we will be getting to the Ceratosaurus as soon as we can. Um, obviously it does come with the Jurassic World code so we will show you that so you guys can get that scanned. And as far as side of the boxes go, this side is open and as you can see you can see the head of the Ankylosaurus. Well, this side is closed, and it just looks like one of the capture crates. Here is the bottom, all the information that you need. And bam, here's that barcode if you need that. So let's get this thing out of the packaging. So as you can see, here it is out of the packaging. Uh, the sculpt doesn't actually look too bad. It's a pretty good sculpt, considering what it's based off of. Obviously, it's based off of the Jurassic World version of the Ankylosaurus. Uh, personally, I think the best Ankylosaurus that I have is from the Safari lineup. Uh, let's see if we can push the button. Yep. As you can see, if you push that button, it makes the sound as well as swings the club back and forth. Um... As far as coloration goes, you can see these are a gray color and then a greenish color running up to the head with this weird kind of brownish color going on. Even though they were like overall gray in the movie or black and red if you go back to Jurassic Park 3. Uh, let's see if we can get some better detail on the head. Oh, well, there we go. As you can see, not too bad. The eyes are at least painted in the correct uh, positions. As far as articulation goes, obviously you've seen the tail. And as you see, the head can go up and down or swivel back and forth. It can actually go all the way around. Or almost all the way around. The legs go forward and back. Nothing too much to it. As you see, the bottom does have the screw hole as well as the sound. Um, here's that code for you. Let's see, we'll get a little bit closer. So overall, is it a great figure? It's okay. Um, it's cool because we don't have any ankylosaurs in the Jurassic uh, Park lineup. So that's definitely something that I think is cool. Is it the best ankylosaurus I have? No. But for what it costs, it's not bad. And like I said, it's pretty cool because, you know, the tail goes back and forth and it makes a sound. Uh, something, the club looks kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But it definitely looks strange. But anyway, that's our review for the day. Um, the Ankylosaurus, eh, probably middle of the pack as far as figures go. Maybe not the top of my list, but definitely not the bottom of my list. Uh, so until next time in the comments below, let me know what you guys want us to check out. And like I said, we still got a couple more Jurassic World figures to get to. But until next time, Casey Reviews, signing out.